Now that we have a nice, let's say, perspective view, you might want to add, you know, some furnitures here. But let's do a render. So type, if you're in a 3D view, you can see this uh, teapot icon. So show rendering dialog. So you can click that. And a dialog box up here. So there you go. You can also type RR. So if you type RR, that's the shortcut for this dialog box. So you can render this. Normally, you render initially using a draft rendering so the pick the render will not take too long so draft so you render to the screen you can render to a printer the size the pixel is uh, the size of your crop box okay so currently we are in an interior space so instead of exterior sun you want to say use the lighting uh, from the sun let's say maybe there's some light coming from the window especially if it's a bigger window so interior sun and artificial artificial means these lights that we have added here so these lights are not just models of lights they're actually light uh, source when you do a render okay so when you're lighting using the sun you can always click on this button and set the under steel set the time of day okay click ok so we're using artificial light and for artificial light these are the lights that are inserted so if they are turned on okay you have a value of one okay so you can control those lights so right now we don't have that much light so we'll just render this based on the lighting we have here and then you can start a render so initially you use a draft render once you're satisfied you might want to commit yourself to a full render now don't worry if your uh, scene is a little bit dark you can actually adjust the exposure of the image so like your you click adjust exposure like your camera, you can go brighter, apply. Okay, I think the shadows uh, is too dark, but uh, we can't do much about that. Uh, highlight, maybe make it bright, uh, brighter or, and, Maybe make this a little bit darker. Okay. So you do need to take note of where your light source is and, you know, how shadows will be casted when you're doing renderings. So that's not a bad render. Click OK. And here you need to save this render. If you're happy with the render, most probably you might render using a high render resolution like medium high best okay once you're happy with the rendering and all the settings that you've done you can save this to a project so that it is it becomes a view or an image that can be uh, placed in your sheet okay so name that and there's your rendering and you can also export this as a jpeg file so you can use it anywhere you want as a jpeg file okay you can say show model show rendering but once you get away uh, or out of this dialog box okay and you hit render again notice that the show rendering is gone so that's temporarily uh, saved uh, until you close this dialog box. Okay, so that's our exercise for today. Submit your
Revit file in the designated Dropbox.